Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is vCenter Server, Clone a VM to a Template, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So we're in hosts and clusters, uh, and I'm going to pick a VM uh, to make a clone from. I'm going to pick one of these uh, dummy NFS Linux virtual machines that I used in an example previously, and I'm going to shut down that operating system because uh, that's the best way of cloning something, making sure there's absolutely no activity whatsoever. So we shut down the VM, and whilst that's shutting down, I'm going to create a folder in VMs and templates to host this template. So I'll pick the data center and right click. And from there I'm going to say new folder, and it's the kind of folder that I can stick VMs and templates in. I'm going to call it Linux Template and I'm going to put all my Linux templates in this folder. So we'll go back to the um, hosts and clusters view. That VM should have shut down now. I'm going to right click on it and select clone. There are a couple of, sorry just checking there that it is powered off. Uh, there are a couple of options you have with clone. You can clone to a virtual machine, clone to a template, or clone to a template in a library. I'm just going to pick clone to a template. And then I'm going to give the template a name of a Linux VM template. I'm going to put it in that folder that we just created a few seconds ago. I'm going to put it on a resource on ESX11. Probably better to put this on a shared data store so it can be used by all virtual machines, but just for ease I'm just going to put it on another data store on the same box. So I've got a summary now just showing me um, where it's going to put this and all the settings I've picked. So this will take a, a little bit of time. We'll just fade this in and out as we're doing that disk I.O. So we come back and it's just about to finish. So that has completed now. So we now have a, uh, a template created from that dummy uh, NFS Linux. And if I look in the folder, just expand that out, we should be able to see that we've now got a template that we can use to create new VMs from. So that was how to clone a VM to a template, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.